Okay guys, in this particular problem, we're being asked to find the equation of the line that passes through the point 2 comma 5 and has a slope of negative 3. Now there are two different ways in which you can do this problem. So let's go over the first way that you could do this problem. And that's using point slope form. Right? So if you use point slope form, right, the equation for point slope form is the following. We're going to have y minus y1 equal to our slope, and then we'll have x minus x1. Okay, so option one here, we're going to use point slope form. And all we have to do is fill in these values. So our y1 and our x1, that's just going to be our point right here. So we can label that as such, right? Here is our x1, here is our y1, and again, our slope right here, okay, which is negative three. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill in these values. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, we're gonna have y minus our y1, which is five, equal to our slope, which is negative three. And then we have x, our x1, which is two, so minus two, all right? So essentially what you wanna do at this point is you wanna rearrange this into slope intercept form. Right, and if you forgot, slope intercept form is the following. We have y equals mx plus b. Right, so we want to write our final answer in slope intercept form. So we just have to do some rearranging here. First step, let's go ahead and distribute this negative 3 inside the parentheses. Right, so it's going to both of our terms. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. We're going to have y minus 5. We have y minus 5 equal to negative 3x. And then a negative 3 times a negative 2 will give us positive 6. All right, last step, let's add 5 on both sides so we can get this to say y equals. Again, when we're putting it in slope-intercept form, we want to have that y variable isolated. So this will cancel here, right? And our final answer is going to be the following. We're going to have y equals negative 3x, and then a 6 and a 5, that will make plus 11. Okay, and this here is going to be our final answer. Okay, so that is the equation of the line that passes through the point, right, 2 comma 5, and has a slope of negative 3. So that was the first way in which you could solve this problem, right, using point slope form. There's also another way. So let's cover that way. So let's erase this. Okay. So the second option, you can actually just use slope intercept form here, which is again y equals mx plus b. And essentially what you're going to do here is you're going to solve for b, and then you're going to write your final answer. So for example, we have both an x and a y right here, x and y. We also have a slope, negative three. So when I plug those values in, I'll solve for b, and then I'll plug in my final answer at the end. So let's go ahead and do this. My y here is going to be five, so I have five equals my slope, which is negative three, times my x, which is two, and then plus b, okay? So let's just go ahead and do this out and solve for b. So we get 5 equals negative 6 plus b. Okay, we want to add 6 on both sides. And we can see here that b is equal to 11. All right, so our last step, we just want to go ahead and put it into slope intercept form. So let's erase this. We determine that b equals 11. So putting it right into slope intercept form, we'll have the following y equals our slope, which is negative 3, so we plug that in for m, then x, and then our b value here, which is plus 11. Again, this b value tells you where it's crossing the y-axis, right? So this is also another option in which you can get the same answer, right? So there are two different options you can use here. It's whichever one you feel more comfortable, um, and that is it.